My name is Lorna Aykroyd. I'm the Head Occupational Therapist for the Western Health and Social Care Trust for Mental Health. I'm based at Grangewood Hospital in Derry. Within the Western Health and Social Care Trust, you may be referred to an occupational therapist to help you with your mental health difficulties. Occupational therapists are often known as OTs. So how could an occupational therapist help? Occupational therapists help you to recover ordinary, everyday lives in the presence of mental illness. When we talk about occupation, we mean the activities or things that you may need to do as part of your everyday life. Things like looking after yourself, others or your home, working, playing, learning, interacting with others and social and leisure activities. Mental illness can disrupt people's everyday lives, making it difficult for them to do the things they need to do and the things they want to do. Mental illness can disrupt people's motivation, their everyday routines, their ability to concentrate, make decisions and problem solve. Everyday interactions can become challenging and some environments can become very daunting. Occupational therapists involve people in activities in order to assess people's abilities and to help them develop or redevelop skills in any of these areas. OTs help people to lead as satisfying and meaningful lives as possible in the presence of mental ill health. An occupational therapist may work with somebody on an individual basis or may invite them to join meaningful activity groups. Everyone's occupational therapy plan will be different. It may involve practicing kitchen skills in order to live independently. It may involve exploring community resources and organizations in order to establish a meaningful and satisfying routine in the community. It may involve developing the skills needed to return to work or training full time. It may involve participation in leisure groups such as walking groups or trips to the local gym. It may involve participation in a variety of creative groups or programs anything from photography, filmmaking or arts and crafts. As long as the activity is meaningful to the individual, it can be therapeutic. Sometimes these activities will take place in healthcare locations, but often they will take place in community locations in order to break down the barriers that may exist for someone with mental illness and to encourage them to participate in independent programs and integration with the community. Qualified occupational therapists have trained for three or four years at third level education and they're registered with the Health and Care Professional Council. They train across all areas of health and disability, but OTs working in mental health have chosen to specialise in this area.